How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to spend a little bit of time looking at the Max 26 XLT and some of the things you should be paying attention to on when you're doing the, the run-in procedure per se and uh, making sure that things are being torqued as they should be and the, the different bolts that are critical are, ma are maintaining that same tightness. So uh, what we'll do is we'll, we're going to be torquing the front and rear wheels. We'll be torquing down here in the front on both sides the frame bolts. And then on the back side, the lower lift links have a torque spec on something you need to be watching too. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about the durations and uh, such right after this. For those of you wondering, this is captured under the page 39 in the Mahindra Max 26 XLT book. It goes through the run-in procedure and then the different stuff you should be checking for it with the the engine under a load when you're wearing it in the rear wheel bolts, front wheel bolts, front frame bolts, and the lower link um, bracket bolts. So, and it gives you the associated page numbers to look at. So, let's go ahead and dig into here in this one and see what we can get figured out. All right, so for the front rear wheel bolts, maybe if I can talk today, uh, they recommend 65 to 69 foot pounds of torque. So, I've got my torque wrench here set up with it, and we are going to go ahead and torque these. And when you're doing this, Make sure that you're doing it just like you would on the car. And you're a little loose. Do it in a crisscross pattern. Making sure you Alright, there was this one was a little bit loose, otherwise the rest of them were good. And then you'll go and repeat on the other side. And on the back wheels, they recommend you do between 87 and 98 foot pounds of torque. I went ahead and set it at 90 and we're going to go from there. And go ahead and torque these down. All right, so now these were loose. I'll go to the other side and repeat the same thing. So as far as durations on when to torque the front and rear wheels, you need to do it at the first 10 hours you have the tractor and every 100 hours after that. Obviously, if you remove one of the wheels for a service or something, they need to kind of uh, start the process over again and double check retorquing. Okay, so now we are going to tackle the front frame bolts. Usually in the manual, it's going to show you six. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six. And down in here, but when you have the loader attached to it, there's actually a few more. If you look up underneath here, the ones with the green um, paint or paint mark on whatever it is, those are also considered uh, the same thing um, that we need to torque those as well. Um, it's the same grade of the 10.9 grade bolt, and we need to torque those at the recommended 80 foot pounds of torque, they're um, saying. Some of these are very difficult to get to, they're tucked up back in here next to the hoses. Um, they really get hard to get at. Let's go ahead and try to get to these. Uh, I know the back ones are kind of a bear cat to get to. Um, I've checked them all once and they have been fine. Um, on this side, on the driver's side of the tractor, there were a couple that were loose. So let's go ahead and grab our torque wrench here and we will torque these down to 80 foot pounds and make sure everything is in working order. Should also mention, I do this with the loader up. You can take it off. But if you have it up above you, make sure you've got it locked so it can't come down on you. You have a little lock on your little loader handle. And just to make sure stuff is locked out and things can't fall on you. All right, let's see what we can do here. They are a little loose. They are a little loose, surprisingly. Well, not surprisingly. You know, there's a lot of vibrations up here in the front of these things, and a lot can happen. That's why we retorque these and check them. Because I've seen people complaining about them coming loose. Well, this is part of the deal. You know, make sure things are staying tight, because there's a lot of vibration in the front of these tractors, and a lot of stress on these loaders and how they're attached to the frame and everything, because these tractors are built like a true 
a true tractor. Let's go ahead and get under and get the other ones. Like I said, this one back here is kind of a pain to get to. Um, you can get to it. You also have to lift the hood up. So let's do that. You could get a, a swivel and you know, there. Thankfully, it's a you know good sized bolt, and you know as long as you keep things you know halfway in order, it should be fine. Um, the hard part is just getting down in there, and if you can keep good in inward pressure on that, you're able to get you know a good turn on it and uh, get it torqued down to where you need to be. So right, let's go ahead and torque down this side. And you'll see here engine frame bolts um, check 12 points initial time 10 hours 50 hours after the fact and then your uh, wheel bolt torque 22 of them check it 100 hours but it also does say um, back here on your um, other section of the book uh, page 74 um, and 73 it does say check the wheel bolts and nuts after the first 10 hours of operation and they get every hundred. So just some stuff to look at in your book. It'll help you out. Now on page 87 of your owner's manual, it does show these spots in detail again. This is with the loader off. So these are the bolts you need to tighten. Um, and the other ones are just kind of bonus ones on that loader there just to double check. Um, but these are specifically what they're calling out and they are the same grade of bolts. So they should take the same amount of torquing to torque them, which you'll, you saw here, while I did all those bolts underneath there. But these are the 12 in specific that Mahindra calls out. And now we're gonna look at the, the actual lift link adjustment, page 63. Um, and it's gonna show you which bolts you should be retorquing and tightening and verifying. In the lift link situation, we have two M14 bolts, one here and the one up in front of it. On both sides, we need to tighten. Um, and then we have two M12 bolts down here um, that we need to tighten as well on each side. Let's go ahead and torque those down. And it says in the book, we need to torque those down to, I believe, yeah, so the 14, so the bigger ones maybe between 89 and 96, and then the M12 bolts, the four smaller ones between 62 and 69 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and grab our torque wrench and get to this. All right, the last two bolts we need to get that to are right down here on the inside that attaches it to the to the transmission or the uh, the housing there. And to be able to do that, I bought these or we have these um, things called a crow's foot. Essentially, it's just like a wrench end with a and this one's a three eighths drive and uh it just goes on your torque wrench like that so you can get things at an angle so basically what i'll be able to do is get down in there and uh, i'll be able to get in there and then pull up on it to tighten it up so let's go ahead and do that quick Well, we got those taken care of. They are tied to the specification. I guess to really wrap things up today, the biggest picture here is I want to show you where these different points are at in the tractor, whether it be 
the front frame bolts, the rear left points, or even the wheel bolts, you know, I mean, I haven't had anything come extremely loose. They have been a little looser than, um, you know, the recommended torque spec. So it's always good to check. There have been people who have had issues. Um, they are marked at the factory because they are an important thing. They want to make sure they torque correctly because it is a critical piece. And you really don't want the loader breaking off or falling off because it is attached directly to the frame. The same thing on the back, you don't want these real rear lift arms to be falling off as you're um, you know, pulling a box plate or an implement behind you. And likewise, losing a wheel is never a good thing. So checking these points is important. I tried my best to get up in there and show you guys. Um, there's some difficult ones to get up here on the hydraulic side of the tractor, but if you guys got any questions about this, let me know. I just haven't seen any videos like this, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a, you know, how I found out to be the best way to do this and um, really give you an option as far as some of your routine preventive maintenance you would call it. As I always say, if you guys like the video, give me the thumbs up. It helps the channel out quite a bit. You know, it gives us a little bit more exposure as we get more likes in the channel. But comments down below here. I like to hear feedback from all you viewers, positive, negative. It's all good constructive stuff in my opinion. And uh, hit that bell so you get more notifications when I post these videos. Um, and like I said, the comments are really important to me and uh, helps me make the channel better. So share this with your friends. They may like it. If not, well, I guess it's a view in my books or don't, you know. Anyways, so thanks for watching, folks. Until next time. I'll see ya.